Holding out. What's up my NSAFs? Welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be reacting to Gravity Falls Season 2, Episode 15, The Last Mabel Corn. I can guess what this is gonna be about. I have some theories, but I'm probably gonna be wrong. Before we get into it though, I do have a couple of special shout outs I'd like to give. A shout out to, I'm gonna say Jerry because that is the name that was on the packaging. Shout out to Jerry for the really cool angel dust plush. That is so cute. I didn't have an angel dust yet, so this is really cool. Thank you so much. And special shout out to Brianna, or Brianna, however you would like it spelled, or pronounced, I mean, sorry, for the Atlas 6 book, which looks really Really, really cool. Bree was actually telling me about this during one of my streams, I believe. So, super cool that I got that, as well as I freaking love this. This is probably one of my newest favorite mugs now. An LGBT mug. Is that not the cutest fucking thing in the world? I absolutely love it. So, thank you so much, Bree. Thank you so much, Jerry. Really appreciate it. And a special shout out to my mother for making me this awesome Powerline Goofy Movie t-shirt. She knows how much I love that movie and wanted to make one for me, so thank you. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. All right, guys, so now without any further ado, let's get into it. Oh. Boat in the swings from your past as well as the portal. What's that about? Hi! And there he is. Hi, Bill. Well, 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 <laughs> What do you want from me? Uh-huh. Oh, quit playing dumb IQ. You think shutting down that portal can stop what I have planned? Oh. I've been making deals. You can't keep that rift safe forever. You'll slip up, and when you do. Oh. Okay, so whatever is in that apparently not completely safe container, completely breakable container, will trigger whatever Bill has planned. So that thing's gonna get damaged, it's gonna fall, it's gonna break something, and it's gonna unleash whatever plan Bill has. Interesting, okay. You have no dominion in our world! Maybe not right now, but things change, Stanford Mines. Mm -hmm. Things change. Right. Ooh, okay. But Uncle Stan's gotta have some decent board games. Let's see. D Battle don't give him too much credit. Necronomicon Apple Don't waste Stalin. Hey, what's this? Don't waste Stalin. What could go wrong in the board game? What could go wrong in the board game? <laughs> the last players who opened this box never made it out alive. A, a play on Jumanji, I'm assuming? Players who opened this box never made it out alive. Cool. Well, I guess they know what we we're doing take up the next 21 minutes? Yeah. All right, Santiago, you have 24 hours to get these pugs across the U.S. border. Oh my god, why are there so many baby pugs? What have you done, Stan? They are so fucking cute. Why are you guys cramming them into little barrels? No, D put them in nice crates with a lot of space or something at least. Ooh, mysterious scrolls and potions. Right. Are you going to tell us we're finally of age to go to wizard school? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Do either of you recognize this symbol? Very much oh, so. Bill. Yep. Dipper's been pretty paranoid since Bill turned him into a living sock puppet. I mean, valid. Is, we defeated him twice. How do you know, Bill? Oh, uh, I'm I've sure. I've encountered many dark beings in my time, Dipper. His powers are growing stronger, and if he pulls off his plans, no one in this family will be safe. <gasps> How about in the world? Unfortunately, there should be a way to shield us from his mental tricks. I always forget the last ingredient. Mm. Ugh. Unicorn hair. Uh, it's not like rare, is it? It is. It's hopeless. And their hairs can only be obtained by a pure, good hearted person who goes on a magical quest. To Mabel. So they're going to use Mabel, hence the whole Mabel Corn title. I'm assuming that that's where this storyline is going. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah! It's a bit. Can I please go on this quest? Yep. I mean, I look at her shirt. I want to make my own unicorn by taking a traffic cone to a horse's head. From petting zoo band. Looking at the sweater I'm wearing right now. Yeah, so the unicorn thing I can't argue. Please, please, please! I'll give you my blood. Okay. I've been in this dimension for a while. It's okay to give children weapons, right? Psh, come on. Now. Wow. Ah, it's the cops! Got it! <laughs> Oh, the puppies! I've dealt with unicorns before, and if uh -oh. I had to describe them in one word, it would be frustrating. Oh, okay. So, what are we going to do about Bill? 
Welcome to my private study, mm -hmm. the place where I keep my most ancient and secret knowledge. Right. Even your Uncle Stan doesn't know about this place. Oh. Dipper, come along. Ooh, what, was what was under that? No, what was under that? Tell me there's something important under there. We're going to have to bill proof our minds. Okay. <gasps> so you really. Uh, I love that Wendy's Don't going with them. It tastes like your favorite flavor in the world. Candy, I will make sure you lick that unicorn's neck because Which I is? care about my <laughs> friends. Who's coming along to keep you kids from walking into a bear trap? Stop! That's good. This is the magic part of the forest. <laughs> to summon the unicorn, one must bellow this ancient chant droned only by the deepest voiced druids of old. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was like... Oh. And there it is. Well done, Greta. Well done. The paintings airbrushed on the sides of vans were true. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. <laughs> of course, look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Give me big anime eyes. Okay, this is a lovely design. I will say, the unicorn looks a little scrawny though. I think it needs to eat a little bit more. But other than that, top tier unicorn design. The eyes, I can't with the fucking eyes. I'm gonna just freaking get hypnotized by Wonder looking at it. Dream of a dream. No way. <laughs> yeah. Eh, eh. Eh, yeah. Is that Alex? Don't tell me that's Alex. I fucking swear if that's another voice that Alex is doing, I swear. I am Celeste Bell, a Beth Bell, last of my kind. Come in, come in. Just take off your shoes. Okay, I'm the fine. About I'm shoes, fine. On a mission to protect our family with your magical hair. To receive a lock of my enchanted hair, uh -huh. step forth. Girl of pure, perfect heart. Is that gonna be you? I don't think so. A unicorn can see deep inside your heart, child. You have done wrong. Wrong, I say. I agree. All fucking summer long. Anyway, I'm glad the unicorn said it. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't trust a horse. Who's gonna have the pure of heart? No, girls. She's right. I used to be one of the sweetest people I knew, but recently I've been slacking in the whole goodness. It sounded very narcissistic of you, okay? From this moment forth, I'm gonna do so many good deeds, I'll have the purest heart and gravity club. Starting with punching that bird. <laughs> Is fine. <laughs> Who's gonna have the pure of heart? That's my question. So what is Bill exactly? I know he's older than our galaxy and far more twisted. Oh. He can only project himself into our thoughts through the mindscape. But with this tear, Bill still has a way into our reality. Mm -hmm. To get his hands on this rift, he would trick or possess anyone. I personally had a metal plate installed in my head. <laughs> Damn. Good one. He's not joking. <laughs> But this machine is safer. It will scan your mind, bioelectrically encrypting your thoughts so Bill can't read them. Oh, man. My what legs. No, no one, no one will notice. Maybe if I cross my legs. Wendy, no Wendy, one. Wendy, 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 Wendy. Might want to ignore that last one. Wendy, By Wendy, way, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Wendy. What your history with Bill was. I feel like if you were to scan my brain. <laughs> I get it, Dipper. Like, there's going to be definitely a part going Moscow, 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 Moscow. I'm done. I'm going to stop following my head. All right, Mabel. My little alligator fidgy. It's so tiny. Is something horrible gonna happen every time you think you're doing something great? Yep. A thousand good deeds. When that unicorn scans my heart, she's gonna say I'm But you're doing it for the wrong reasons. I don't think it counts that way. Yeah. Also, you guys have sh your shoes still on. Crushing like ten dandelions right now. Those are basically children's dreams. Also, basically children's dreams. No, that's literally what I just said. You're doing it for the wrong reason, so that doesn't count. It's not my fault you're a bad person. Oh, <laughs> I like this unicorn. <laughs> I love this this unicorn. 
Come on, Mabel. Don't beat yourself up. Oh, God. Being kind and sweet is what makes me who I am. If I'm not a good person, who am I? Um, I'm not leaving this kind and I'm sweet. I wouldn't have described you as much. But, but that's just me. Mabel? Mabel's like the best person I've ever met. Is we she? We tried getting that hair the good way. Now it's time we try the Wendy way. Oh. Are you suggesting violence? <laughs> Sabotage? Are you suggesting <laughs> violence? Look. Trying to be so perfect and be who we really are. Crazy, Sorry. Sweaty ADHD We're moment. We're women and we can't yeah. God. Nice, Wendy. That's excessive. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd follow Wendy into whatever the hell she's gonna do. Give me a flagon of your daintiest honeysuckle, please. I'm gonna need to see some ID. Oh, the cops! I'm looking for someone who knows how to take down a unicorn. No tricks or games. We are human. We take what we want. Okay. Yeah. But if I do you a favor, you gotta do something for me. Just spill it, half pint. Half pint. Trafficking is illegal in this part of the forest. Bring me a bag of butterflies and we got a deal. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound very difficult. Oh, wow. The deal. This is the shadiest of deals. Two bags of fairy dust, just like we agreed. Everyone likes sausage, but no one likes to know how it's made. You disgust me. You've got your poison, I've got mine. Okay, so do you crush the fairies into dust? Are those the bones of fairies that have been crushed into a powdery consistency? Oh, the imagery, okay. The deal is up! Get down, get down! These butterflies aren't mine, I swear. I've been framed. Oh, what the hell to the adorable owl dressed as a judge. My cut. That... Okay, okay. I don't know what I just witnessed, but it was great. Okay. <laughs> Why me oh, pray sure, drunk? Sure. I wish I could travel, but it's just not feasible in this economy. What the hey? What the hey? Sleep now. <laughs> okay, how was that permitted for Disney? Okay. <laughs> show, our, show a creature getting freaking no, chloroformed. No, but don't share, don't show a gay character. To be fair, that's not at all what it looks like, uh, unicorn. Yo, Seabeth, are you seriously pulling this pure of heart scam again? That is messed up, man. Wait. What? Yeah? All our dumb horns can do is glow, point towards the nearest rainbow, and play rave music. Hey. Hey, it's actually not a bad perk. Yeah. So you learned our secret. We're jerks, okay? Aren't you? What are you gonna do? Wow. Huh? What are you gonna do? Oh. Oh. So it's a fight you want? Uh huh. Then it's a fight you're gonna get. Is it? Okay, I, you know, fighting unicorns. I'll take it. Ugh, <laughs> uh, this is taking forever. Use the machine, it'll show you his thoughts. The more you know about Bill, the more you can help. This isn't Man, good. I'm really good at rationalizing. This is not good. Just a little. Bit. Oh right, because that would wake him up. Fighting about Bill. My brother is a dangerous know-it-all. He would trip or possess anyone, and it's a deal. From now until the end of. Oh. Time, just let me into your mind, Stanford. Uh oh. Call me a friend. Oh. <laughs> Did you just like re-trigger some kind of? No. Oh Why were you really scanning my thoughts? Are you Bill right now? Cradle Gilfor told me to protect the rift. Get one step closer. Yeah, but hold on. So what is that about? So that's why like everything was covered and stuff like that. It's like this Bill Sanctum and stuff. Hold on. It's I'm Cradle confused. It's me, Dipper. It's your uncle. Hand it to me. Uh oh. You dropped the thing. You broke it. You broke the thing. And you broke that. Oh, okay, well that's still safe. Let go of me. Look at my pupils. It's me, Dipper. It's me. Okay. That really was Bill, though. You would have done great. I should have been more like you when I was young. Bill tricked me. It's the biggest regret of my life. Yeah. Bill wasn't always my enemy, Dipper. I used to think he was my friend. I had hit a roadblock in my investigation of Gravity Falls. Mm -hmm. Incantations about a being with answers. Ah. Oh. Read the inscription aloud, but nothing happened. Until later that afternoon, when I had the most peculiar dream. Yeah, the eyes. I was about to say they look like eyes. Hi, a smart guy. Smart guy. Name's Bill, and your name's Stanford Pines, the man who changed the world. But I'm getting ahead of ourselves. Oh. Let's relax. 
the man who changed the world. Are you looking into the future? He became my research assistant. He was free to move in and out of my mind as he pleased. Oh. We were partners. Oh no. When he told me that I could complete my research by building a gateway to other worlds, I trusted him. Deep. Ah, so that's why you built the machine and why it looks like Bill. Until my partner got a glimpse of Bill's true plans. Bill, you lied to uh, me. Ah, that's what he saw. Let's just say that when that portal finishes charging up, your dimension is going to learn how to party. Right, guys? He's a demon. Stop, stop you. A deal's a deal, Stixer. You can't stop the bridge between our worlds from coming, but it would be fun to watch you try. I had to hide my instructions so no one could ever finish Bill's work. All he needs to do is get his hands on this rift. Yeesh. It's just a game. Okay, well that explains a lot. That explains absolutely a lot. Okay. I'm glad we got that information because now so much stuff is making more sense to me. However, this thing is going to break. Bill is going to come through. The question is, what happens? Like, how crazy are they going to go with this, like, apocalyptic idea? That's what I'm intrigued to see because it's like you could do a lot with it, really. From now on, no more secrets. Between us. We're yeah. not the first two idiots to be tricked by Bill, boy. <laughs> but if we work together, we could be the last. Hopefully. <laughs> now we have no way to protect the shack. What did someone say? Unicorn hair! Uh, what a journey. They finally gave us this treasure just to get rid of us! Uh, it can't be! This is a great day, girl. And didn't the tears With kill this things, though? Hair, we'll be able to completely shield the shack from Bill's mind-reading tricks. You've protected your family. Oh, that's You're cute. You're a good person, Mabel. Cute. Thanks, Grunkle Ford. But today I Grunkle learned that Ford. morality is relative. Money! Valid, I guess. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I guess I can't possess anyone inside the shack. Well, just have but to find my next pod on the outside. Gideon? Seuss? Oh, you're not gonna show us? Ah, okay. Interesting, interesting. I think they showed the face upside down. Was it the, the news reporter guy? I don't know. It kind of looked like him. Interesting. Okay, well, that was fascinating. It's cool to see Bill back. I do like what he brings to the story and to the, to the show itself. Uh, he definitely makes it much more interesting for me, personally. So this is gonna be fun to see what happens and what uh, ends up happening next. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you wanna see the full version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. Thank you again to Bree and Jerry for sending me those P.O. Box gifts and thank you to my mom for making this super cute shirt. I thank you all so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!